Welcome back to the episode of Unraked Podcast. Um, coming back to you today um, after a tough, tough loss from this past weekend to the Texas Longhorns. Um, definitely got to tip the cap. Um, one hell of a football team. Hear a lot of people kind of comparing them to us last year. Just complete team. Um, strong in the trenches. They were, yeah, just a better team. We obviously didn't help out the kids very much um, from an offensive standpoint, which kind of, you know, obviously – Weighed on the defense a little bit, <clears throat> but yeah, overall tough game. I kick it over to you. E. Just want to see your thoughts on um, our Wolverines this past Saturday. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you on uh, just how strongly built Texas is, top to bottom. Uh, you know, have a, has a top first round ish type quarterback uh, come back for. I believe this is his senior year. You know, he's been around a while. Uh, he, you know, he was just surgical. They just kind of picked us apart. Uh, we had our moments of defense. Obviously, defense didn't get just get destroyed, but just real methodical game from them uh, as far as their offensive game plan. And then, uh, obviously, we put them our defense in such horrendous positions. Uh, you know, uh, bad fumbles, bad interceptions, short fields. You know, they they uh, a bad defense would have easily gave up fifty. So I, I think we got, do got to tip our hat to them. They they do yeah. thing, and it really, at the end of the day, is a offensive issue in particular. It looks like a, a major quarterback issue, and I do think we got got exposed for what it was. But I do think the bright side of this is, is there's not too many more teams that are better than Texas. Not too many more teams that, uh, you know, they're one of the favorites for the uh, uh, to win the Council Wealth playoff this year currently sitting at I think third in the country. So, you know, they're they're in they're in the hunt and they easily win it. And I, I think, you know, all I'm, I'm saying all I'm saying is although this is was blind sighting, I think there are um the bright spot is there's only a handful of teams that are going to be as powerful as they are. And it For sure uh, it they have a lot of time to kind of figure out what we're doing <clears throat> and and manufacture something on the offensive side so that we can go and compete against a couple of these teams that we'll have a shot against, you know, coming up. Yeah. No, definitely. You hit it uh, right on the head. Um, you know, I'm looking at the box score right now. I mean, they scored, yeah, seven in the first, 17 in the second, seven in the third, none in the fourth. I mean, that second quarter, it was just like an avalanche pretty much. Um, they had, the, like, I mean, drives. I mean, I remember sitting there on the couch watching, and I'm like, They've had the ball like seven, eight minutes. You know, legit had to drive like 13 plays, like 50 some yards for like eight, nine minutes. And defense, and they just did what they could. Um, but then they started just kind of gashing them, hitting them from all angles. Um, they were really hitting the edges. So Kenny G and uh, Mason Graham, I mean, they're just kind of running sideline to sideline, sideline to sideline after a while. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this from a lot of teams. You know, the rest of I mean, a lot of college teams already play like this. So, um, Defense held its own. There are some concerns there going forward, just a lot of missed assignments and tackling. Um, but like you said, I think the biggest thing is just the offense. I mean, didn't help out the defense at all. You know, Davis Warren, I think, I mean, they I think they did. I guess I'll kind of say some of these things to get optimistic about it, but um, you know, the back to back interceptions, one tipped, you know, receiver ran a bad route. Um he was just kind of like, you know, looking guys down going one read and then yeah or deal with orgy and edwards it's just, it's kind of tough like you know it just kind of felt like we were just kind of like a step behind mm -hmm. uh the entire the entire game for the most part but there are some flashes of good things i think on both sides of the ball that i like that i saw overall though yeah and i think you know we can all we can try to do is learn from learn from the loss and hopefully they uh yeah. You know, and it was kind of a measuring stick game, you know, a humbling game. Obviously, the first time we lost like this in quite a while. Uh, and so I, I, I would say, uh, you know, just take it for what it's worth. And, you know, we got we got another opponent this upcoming week. Yeah. Somebody we should, I believe, be in a manhandle in Arkansas State, you know, um, and and just kind of build build back up from there, you know. And then it, after yeah. that, I think you'll we'll be entering Big Ten play shortly after that, maybe another team. Um, I'm blinking on the schedule see. now, but yeah, yep, yep, right. So yeah, you're right back in it. So just build, build upon um that game 
figure out some things on offense. But no, just back to Arkansas State, kind of. I know I, I personally I admit I don't know too much about them. I got to pull it up here, oh, little yeah. Red Wolves. Uh, so kind of you know, what are your thoughts on uh you know Arkansas State, you know heading up to the big house, you know week after we got kind of tossed around, ragged out a little bit. I mean, I think this is going to be a good reset. You know, first loss at home in like four years, something like that. Um, first loss in three years. Um, so I think it's going to be. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I got the losses a little mixed up here, here a little bit, but um, I do just feel like it just kind of kind of reset things. You know, you hope to see a little more continuity on offense with assuming Davis Warren is going to be um, a little more consistent. But I don't know. It, it also might sound like Jack Tuttle, you know, it's like there's kind of question marks there overall. Um, and, Orgy, we just don't really know what's going on there at all. And, uh, yeah, you just hope that we can really just establish the run and kind of get some confidence back. You know, it'd be great to, you know, beat them by two, three, four touchdowns just to, you know, really just kind of get back, get back right, get back on the right track. So I feel like they just got to clean things up, and I do expect things to be a lot cleaner. <clears throat> yeah, no, I think I think that's – that's a big thing I was going to emphasize, just, you know, play a clean game, you know, uh, offensively, you know, hopefully, I mean, let's just be brutally honest. Edwards got to hit the hole. You got to, you got to read, read what the line is giving you and, and just take those yards that are easy to get from time to time. Uh, we need tenfold better quarterback play. Uh, and <clears throat> we know, and then from there, um, people like Loveland, you know, you got to, can't be lacking, last days go with the ball. You know, you got to keep, keep that thing tight. Um, you know, into the body and then, you know, just try to build back on things like that. I think we we just let the wheels fall off a little bit. <clears throat> and um, and I think this is a team that you can do that against because, you know, with USC in the in the crosshairs right at crosshairs right after that, you know, you can't, you know, you don't want to have another stumble game where you don't even have no type of confidence to build on. You don't know what, what you want to do offensively. You don't know what you can do offensively. I think, you know, you, you want to take the time to build that up um, get your identity back, get this team's identity. Um, that's another thing I think we got to realize is maybe we, we're not teams of the old um, and, and get this team's identity uh, going. And I'm saying this mostly joking, but I, I seen somebody say, if you just on Twitter, if you just don't trust uh, Orgy enough to pass, you know, why not let him line up at running back? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of strange. Yeah. So I, I just think it's, uh, I, I feel like if, when in doubt, we just got to really load that box and go and go power, you know, just uh, however that looks. You know, we we were all joking. James was joking about the wing tee. But, you know, a, a facet of that might not be the worst thing in the world. You know, I think we have yeah. the offensive line power. We have the stable of running backs. So, you know, I think just get back to the to the uh, drawing board here, you know, <clears throat> and, and just kind of rip it up and figure out what we can do, uh, because I think, you know, we the measure is not to beat up on teams like Arkansas State measures to beat Texas, beat USC, obviously Ohio. And uh, we got to put up, find a way to get 28-30. And then hopefully the defense can, you know, hold people, to, you know, to under that. But I think yeah. we were, you know, the defense, what was his final score of that? Uh, 31. Defense did the job. Yeah. they. I mean, they, yeah. seven, seven, the onslaught was after the turnovers in the second, second quarter. 17 points, yes. just boom, boom, boom. Um, yes. Yeah, they, they held in there. And that's, again, like I said, they that's a top three, if not best team in the country. So yeah. I do feel like they're going to lock it in um, this week. I can see even let's go to the score prediction. I, I feel like uh, I'd say 27 to, 27 to three. I think they're really going to lock in on defense. And uh, yeah, get the job done, run the ball on offense. Yeah, I don't think we're too far off. Um, I definitely see that score. I, I, uh, for some reason, I'm kind of just eyeing 28 10. You know, yeah. um, maybe 31, get a field goal out of there. So, but somewhere around that ballpark. And uh, I hopefully, like we're saying, you know, we can get, we can manufacture some of that offense, get some confidence back. Edwards, take, you know, get a 50 yarder, 60 yarder, you know, just yeah. things like that, just we can. We can see it. They can see it, and uh, we can build build from there. <clears throat> yep. 
Cool. But yeah, we'll uh, jump over to the pros. Alliance kicked off Sunday night. Gritty, gritty victory. Stafford came into the building again, motivated. Mm -hmm. Left the kids and the wife at home. So you know he was coming to try to get a dub. Shut the door on that again. That was awesome to see. Um, yeah, just want to see your uh, your thoughts on um, the Sunday night uh, overtime thriller our Lions pulled out. Yeah, so um, overall, just a good game. Uh, um, good game to watch, fun game. Um, obviously, we want the blowouts, but <clears throat> I think I don't think the Rams are slouches. I think, you know, um, we we think our D-line front seven is fairly solid, and mm -hmm. um, they were down to nobody, and Stafford still getting that ball out quick, slinging it around. Uh, you know, so I think we played a real team, and and they gave us their gave it their all, made pushes, and um, and we got out. So I, what I what I would say is from from top top to bottom, I'm just it's exciting to see that we have a real full roster. You know, we have yeah. I you know we got we got a couple couple of tight ends, uh, quarterback solid, couple of running backs. Uh, it was amazing to see JMO get out there and make his noise. Um, we got to find the balance between JMO making some noise and St. Brown getting busy too. Uh, but I think that'll bounce itself out over time. And uh, O-line, powerful, looks like one of the best in the league already. And I think so. We got we got our identity. Uh, so young bulls all across the defense, but they're making names for themselves. They look good. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was it was exciting to see. We didn't, not at our full potential on defense either. You know, still very young. Uh, couple, missing a couple of guys uh, spread throughout that, that might come back, make some noise for us. So. Um, uh, and just the power, speed, you know, we got, we got a good balance of everything. We look like a legit contender and, uh, that's exciting to see just for, you know, some Lions fans that has been through the depths of hell and back up to where we are now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I echo a lot of that. I mean, it was just a instant classic. Um, I think it, I think it like beat out the last, last year's Sunday night game by like, Eight nine million viewers. I mean, it's just the the attention around the Lions right now is just crazy. Like, I mean, we thinking like ten years ago, it was two and fourteen, zero and sixteen. Like, it's it's kind of wild to wrap my mind around still. But I just like how they just got the job done in my like favorite way possible, just running that football. Like, I mean, they Montgomery, but like nine seven times on a nine play drive. Um, yeah. I mean, he broke just, the one for like twenty-five play, thirty. Just chunk play, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that, and yeah, I mean you just don't see that in the league. I mean that that's that's pretty much what San Fran was doing to the Jets on Monday night. But um, you don't, you really don't see them line up just single back, uh, full back, and you know eye formation and just run it on a team like that. And I mean, I thought it was crazy that because they had to call a timeout on like third and one on like the three. He was like, yeah, <laughs> just trying to get his, his team. And but yeah, I mean, I think the O line is the best in the league. Um, I mean, we didn't even talk about JMO yet. I mean, that was so. I mean, they they pretty much shut down Amaral St. Brown, so he he had to make the plays and he made them. Yeah, and then some. Um, one hundred thirty five like total yards. Touchdown. Um, yeah, huge game from him. And this is just, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a study. Like, no better way to start it off than your first game. Um, you know, and, uh, was, you know, the first game of the season, a double wide receiver, too. I agree. And I've, and I've questioned JMO a lot, you know, questioned the pick when it happened, questioned, you know, just some of his production. And that was, as somebody that has been semi skeptical, it was great to see. It was great to see him just be so explosive. It's, well, I know he's running his route fast, but it's amazing to me. As soon as he catches the ball, he seems to exit like times three. He gets it, yeah. takes off. Um, type of separation you see a la like Tyree Hill. Type of type, uh, separation you used to see from like Deshaun Jackson is one of them guys when they when they get it, they just look like they catapult in front of the defender. Um, right. Just special, special once they get the ball in their hands and, and hard to bring down. And I, you know, if he can have any – resemblance of this or you know every game go ahead and get you a 25 to 40 yarder and you know have some other decent catches within there i think we are uh this offense is well, tip -top. i mean i don't know how you're going to defend that st brown being as consistent as he is um laporta being you know just the x-factor tight end 
You know, yeah, like 40 yards of what you said. Yeah, just feeding Montgomery up the middle. You know, I'm not sure if we we're firing on all cylinders, how you know, how you scheme against that. So no, it, but it 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 starts, I think, like you said, with the best old line in the league, uh a mm-hmm. steady dose of uh Montgomery, Gibbs, and then let everything else fall, kind of fall into place from there. And yeah. um and hopefully, you know, one thing I will say, golf, uh you know, it it will go as he goes as well. Um, you know, so I don't know. He I got a little nervous doing that after that first pick, but <laughs> it yeah. was one of those things where, you know, he had, you know, we gotta I can't have such a, you know, I have to have to have a short memory with him too. Cause he, you know, he he seemed to do us do his thing for us, especially at home. So for sure. Uh yeah. you know. I mean I think and I think, you know, we we had talked about it quite a bit, like now, like the goal this year, I mean, we, we were like fourth in the league in offense and like 20 something in the league in defense last year. It's like, now if we can, we can have nights like we did, you know, Sunday night where we was just sputtering on offense all night and then just turn it on, you know, and rattle off nine straight in the fourth and overtime. Like we, we can, we're, cause we know our defense will get some stops. I mean, Stafford is Stafford. We ain't going, I mean, we're going to see some great quarterbacks, but you know, you know what tier we, we hold him in. He'll so make I, you yeah. So I just feel like, you know, we can – it was great to see us kind of sputter like that on offense, be a little inconsistent, and uh, not, you know, have our wide receiver one and, you know, second best tight end in the league kind of just put at – you know, put at bay. It's great to see Jamal come up in big moments Sunday night like that. Like, I mean, it's – everything else going to be like a cakewalk <laughs> for him. Right. At this, you know, getting getting off with a, against a great team like that. So, got another one rolling in. Um, I do kind of, you know, we always about Baker. You know, I, I like Baker, but we know with Baker, it, you know, he coming off a four touchdown game. You know, feeling himself a little bit. You know, he's he's always, always due to, you know, we, we might be we might be getting him at a at a good a good good spot right here. He'll always revert back to the mean. <laughs> yeah, you know, he he gonna throw a couple. He gonna throw a pick or two. You know, that's what we hoping for. Um, but yeah, I mean, once again, it's hard to beat a team two times in a row. We're going three times in a row against this team. So this is, this is a matchup, you know, I looked at the schedule, you know, can just be one of those, like in that first six where it's like, you know, they should get it done, but you never know. It's hard beating the the team three times in a row. So just, yeah, I want to see your thoughts on, on the Buccaneers rolling into town. Yeah. So what I, what I say is, um, Another test for the young safety or for the young defensive backs um, in general. Um, obviously, Baker, uh, we joke about him a lot, but he is a gunslinger. He, you know, he even if in his, in his even in his three four interception games, you know, he'll light you up for 300, 350. He's uh, yeah. you know he so he <clears throat> he can move that ball around. And well, you know, with uh, uh, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, you know, I think they got some fire power over there. So you know, let's see what the defensive backs can do again. I, I I wanted to mention this last game, but um, Cooper Cup went for I think like seven for one ten or something like that. Yeah. And so considering that we ended the season on every player we played had a career game against us, I think I thought that was promising. Um, so hopefully we can lock in these guys again. Um, I don't remember exactly what uh, uh Mike Evans did for us, uh, did against us last year, but um, he's obviously always a lethal threat. So. Just yes. uh, him, uh, Godwin, just kind of see if they, we can kind of try to bottle people up again and uh, and keep it keep it dirty, keep it murky, get some interceptions. Uh, you know, and I think we this, like the later. They like to hit. Kirby Joseph likes to hit. Uh, yeah. Branch likes to hit. So I think we're going to get that kind of – I don't want to say it, but I think we'll, they'll – along with, you know, just look at the whole package of what we got uh, with a couple of the corners that could develop in the lockdown corners. We could have a you know Legion of Boom type shit going on where if if these players stay together and age well, we got a good combo of people that are coming to later wood and playing lockdown defense. Uh so I just want to see if we can kind of, you know, that'll give me a lot of hope if we come out there again and, and kind of bottle up all, you know, their offense uh as far as Tampa Bay goes. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, we got we were four like we were lucky that Puka got knocked out that game because it would have gotten scary to see, you know, both of them getting Getting yep. to it, um, so I do feel like I thought the Bucks they have 
few more weapons. I mean, they got, you know, Mike Evans. Oh, Tim, he had, he's had a thousand yards receiving every single year of his career. Like this, I didn't even, yeah, this consistency. That's something you don't really hear too much about. But um, I feel like, you know, him, Godwin, running backs are solid, solid tight end. Um, defense, that's what really, I mean, they, you know, they like to blitz, bring pressure. So this is where golf, I mean, he's done, he did a great job. He was down to a guard, two running backs in Tampa Bay. Still went for, you know, three, 315, something like that. The playoffs, he did something similar. So I just feel like we're going to just establish that run and just kind of let him, you know, do it, do what he does and just get that play action going. They do like to blitz. So we, you know, we catch them, catch them off guard a few times. There's some opportunity there. And they're all pro safety. Winfield um, is not playing. Mm. So that's a. Uh, so that's yeah, something that's major, huge. major plus. Yeah. We just watched the Rams sit a safety over St. Brown the entire game. So it's you know, it's a it's it's a it's a big opportunity, but they can definitely come get us. Right, and I think obviously he knows that you know this, but I think St. Brown just being hovered and monitored like that, he'll he'll break out of it. But I also think oh, um, yeah. it's a yeah, way yeah. where, yeah, um, other people it opens up so much opportunity for other people, and then. Um, Eventually, they're going to have to, you know, like you said, move that safety back over and stop to just the kind of the motioning or move maneuvering everybody around him. So, but that's something he'll have to, he'll get better in. And I think if not, you know, Jamo's going to go for like 15 yards this year. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or the Porta for that matter. So, uh, but no, man, it's, uh, I, I think, I do think this would be a, a, a test for us. Um, and I, I think, both offensively and defensively, they're they're pretty stout. Obviously, we met them in the playoffs last year. Um, and, you know, I just kind of want us to clean up the game, but replicate what we did last, last week. I think see what we did that work, like you said, just pounding that rock, um, opening that right up. Is, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Um, it, it, and, I, and I believe what you say that I think Montgomery needs to be the, the workhorse of it. You know, just let him let him eat. Yeah. And um, the team the part off of it. Yeah, go. Yeah, Gibbs, Gibbs running tough too, but yeah, I, I do just feel like, you know, the way they ended it last, you know, that was that was a good way to to end that game, and I think there's some times on, you know, we won't go back to that game too much, but just situationally, you know, throwing on second and short, Gibbs in, but there's just some times Montgomery, man, if you can just, especially you got a lead, run the clock out, you know, second and two, get, gain a three, it's another minute and a half off the clock. But but yeah, I'm kind of rambling now. But I do feel like no. you know Montgomery definitely got to be, I, he got to be the guy getting getting good bulk of the carries still, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, you want to try a score prediction? Yeah, I'll go. Uh, I'm gonna go thirty-one twenty-four. Yeah, I, mean, I like they that. Got a high power yeah. offense. They get some. They'll, they'll score a little bit, but I think we'll just we'll, we'll do just enough. And the defense make plays. Yeah. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. I'm gonna go uh uh 35 28. Um, kind of a similar ballpark. I think I do think we, um, uh, our offense would be a little more fiery, and then uh defense get, obviously bend, but they'll break a little bit. Maybe get a pick or two. Um, yeah. and that's kind of be a story of the game there. Yeah. Yeah. And Carlton Davis revenge game. He he's he played against practice against Godwin and Mike Evans. Or uh, yeah, that's the last right. five six years. So he had a, he had a solid game. Secondary was straight. They look, they look it look decent. Um, Especially yeah. for how young we are. No, right. I mean, we got a lot of problems. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, uh, we right at the gate. We just got to, you know, long season, bow tied up, do the right maneuvers throughout the year. Um, but, I mean, you, you ain't never going to be mad about week one victory. Um, crowd fired up. Yeah, man, we got it. It's a uh, lot to look forward to it, uh, as a Lions fan, for, for sure, bro. It's not, I'm not even, it's, it's kind of still, you know, it's real. Yeah, it's it's crazy to like. Yeah, sometimes I just be like, I mean, the attention you got. You know, NFL people, and NFL Network, are literally picking us to win it all. Like I've never seen. There's a lot of firsts in the last three to four years, and yeah, I mean, I think we definitely got the team to do it like, one week at a time. Um, start great win to start off the season, especially after beating a team in the playoffs, and see if we can get another team that we recently beat in the playoffs. Yeah, yes, time in a row. Go Lions. Go blue. Yep. Talk to y'all later. Peace.